Hey, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial. This video is actually a follow-up to a video that we had published a while ago where I taught you how to create an amortization schedule in Excel. So a loan amortization for, say, residential or commercial property. And the reply is in response to some questions I got about adding extra principal payments to your loan payments. Okay, so this amortization schedule assumes that we're making the minimum monthly payment which we can do and we'll pay it off per the term. However, uh, many of us like to make extra payments when we can to pay down that principal a little bit faster. So I'm gonna show you how we can do that today. Um, and as a reminder, as we get into this, the variables here are at the top, principal, interest rate, years, and the initiation date. And what this AMART schedule does is again, assuming we make the minimum monthly payment, we're gonna pay it off a certain number of periods or years, so 180 periods, which is 15 times 12 years. Okay. So to add more principal to this, it's as simple as adding a column to this table, and we can add it really anywhere. I'm going to add it right next to the loan balance. And I'm going to call it additional principal. All right. And here is where you're going to enter in the additional principal you pay. Now, if I enter something in here, it's not going to do anything because I haven't updated the formulas. What I'm going to do is update this loan balance formula to not only subtract away the principal payment I make that's part of the minimum, but also any additional that I pay here. Okay? So if I update this to say I would like to sum not only my previous loan balance and the principal I paid from the minimum, but also the additional I pay. Update that formula. If I put a negative 100 in here, meaning I'm paying 100, my formula is going to update accordingly. So I'm going to click this and drag it down. I'm going to add a bunch of extra payments and see that, how that impacts my loan. Now remember these numbers these errors are showing up because uh, the term only goes 15 years. If it was a 30 year term, they're all relevant, all right? Um, and let's move it back to 15. Okay, so let's say on my first payment, I make an extra $100 payment, okay? What if I did that a bunch of times? What if I did that all the way uh, through to like next year, okay? So I'm making, what is this? This is 24, so that's two years worth of, of $100 payments. Well, what does that do to my payoff date? If we scroll down, it looks like I'm going to be paying it off just a couple months early. So you can see it's a nice, easy way to be able to play with your loan and see when you make those payments. Now, what some people do is they'll just enter these as they make them. So they won't necessarily plan for them, but as they work through, they'll say, okay, well, I made a $250 one here and a $400 one here. Now, this is the other thing to keep in mind is this assumes that your minimum monthly payment won't change. Your monthly payment won't change. Now, for most loans, that's the case. Not all though. Sometimes commercial loans will calculate your payment based off actual. So as you make principal payments and actually based on the date you make them, your loan can change. And so that's something to think about. Um, and we, we can maybe address that later. But I did want to show you this. Um, so getting that additional principal in there. Um, so hopefully that, that helps all those folks out who had that question. If you have any additional questions or follow-ups or things that came out of this, feel free to leave them there. Maybe we'll do kind of a, another uh, AMART schedule where we can adjust the actual dates we're paying. But uh, really appreciate you watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy to help out. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.